All right, so this is going to be just a quick video showing how to open up this Dell Optiplex 960. Okay, so you got this Dell Optiplex 960, you got the CD drive and everything here. My customer actually put all this stuff on it so they know which side is which and how to open this. So it's pretty interesting. Anyways, the way you open this is there's this latch up here. Okay, you pull this and then when you pull that, this thing will pop forward. So you can keep pulling it and then just pull on this somewhat hard. All right, once you've done that, this door swings forward and then you can just pull it up, okay? If it doesn't come out, you might have to swing it further forward. Okay, anyways, we're just gonna do a quick look inside. You can see all the PCIe and PCI ports and whatever sockets, okay? To put a new card in, it has this little flip thing that you can flip it up, then you can squeeze the card in, but these are the minier, I don't know what you call these, the mini cards or the half, the shorter ones. Okay, and then you just push this in. If you have a GPU here, you do have to pull this tab up out of the way. Okay, let me actually turn on the flash if that helps. So you do have to pull this tab up out of the way so that it comes out from holding that L bracket. All right, then you can kind of swing it up that way. So usually I'll like swing it up and then kind of rock it back and forth to pull that out. All right, make sure you push this back down so you don't close smash it with the lid. Okay, I'm not going to take everything out, <clears throat> but I am, oops, I am going to show the, um, CD drive and the SSD. Let's see, what is this? How did this come out like that? That's weird. Wait, what is this piece? Why did it do that? How do I get this back? Oh, there we go. Okay, that was weird. I don't know why this, it's supposed to be, I thought it was supposed to be like welded to this, but I guess not. Okay, anyways, to remove this, let me actually zoom in here. Pretty simple, straightforward. Um, you have this, you pull it up, okay? Once you pull this up, you can actually slide the CD drive back. So you can kind of grab here and slide it, okay? It'll stop, and then once you get it to stop, you can kind of lift it, wiggle it. You might have to wiggle it, and then there you go. Um, you can just swing this out of the way, or you can disconnect this and then remove it completely. All right, the SSD um, is a little bit trickier to remove, or the hard drive, depending what you have in here, okay? So this, there's two latches, one on either side here, so these, you can see it like kind of hooks in right there. So you have to actually pinch these two inwards. So once you pinch these inwards, you can use this part here to pull it back. Okay, I know my hands are in the way, but that's how you slide it, okay? And then you can actually take this out. And the way you take this out, you have to swing this side up first, okay? So at an angle like that, and then you can take this out, okay? So I'm gonna put this back in, okay? just like this, and then we're gonna slide it back in. Also, there's four screws that hold the hard drive in place. Um, to remove those, you use a PH2 or JIS2 screwdriver, okay? And then you also have the RAM here. RAM just comes out like every other computer, okay? Uh, let me see if I can show this better. Okay, RAM comes out like every other computer. There's two latches on the sides. You just pull them to the side, and they pop up, okay? Just like this. And then once you pop that out, make sure you're grounded, so touch something metal. And then you can pull this out, and here you can see. I don't think they give the speed and stuff of this RAM, so I don't know. You'll have to figure out this. I don't know. I hate Kingston RAM because they never show it, but here you see. KVR800D2N6. I'm guessing that's an I, 2G. Okay, and then they have this information here. So if you need to find out what type of RAM, look that up. Search the numbers on there, and hopefully you'll be able to find it. Okay, and we're just going to get this back in. All right, anyways, there's four slots. We're going to click that back in, and we're going to just put all this back together. But that's pretty much all there is to it, okay? CD drive is pretty straightforward to put back in. Let me actually zoom back out a bit. Okay, so you kind of start it, same thing, like where this is kind of as far back as it can go and then you drop it in, you can actually see the screw goes into a slot here. Okay, you might kind of have to wiggle it if it's getting caught on something. There we go. And then once you get it all in, just slide it back and it should click into place. If you can't, you might have to pull this up, push it all the way in and then drop that down. All right, then if you try and pull it, it should be good. All right, now we just gotta get the bottom uh, or the side panel cover back on. So just like before, you just get it at an angle like this, okay? I don't know if you can even see the whole thing, okay. So you get it in at an angle, just like this. You can see like the little feet go into the slots there. And if it doesn't go in, you might have to lift it up higher, okay, till it drops in, and then push it in, and that's it. 
All right, hopefully this video helped you guys out. If it did, make sure to like, subscribe, share my channel with others so that they can learn how to upgrade or repair their devices as well. If it helped you save a bunch of money, please consider watching, sorry, please consider contributing a little to the channel. Every little bit helps and allows me to continue making these videos for a living or just watch a bunch of my other videos. That helps as well. Anyways, thanks for watching. See you all in the next one. Bye.